Hello and welcome to another video. This week I've been taking part in Jennifer Orkin Lewis's 30 day painting challenge over on Creative Bug. I'll leave the links below. Um, and I decided to do some in the garden yesterday because it was really sunny and hot and just generally lovely. So I had fun doing my painting in the garden. I'm not going to talk too much in this video because I'm very sneezy from all the pollen. So I shall let you enjoy watching and I'll come back to some narration at the end of the video. Thank you. 
Later on, I came back to add some details. On the presents painting, I decided to use some gel pens. But the problem I had with this is that the cheap, chalky watercolour paints I'd used to do the presents um, actually didn't take the other media very well. It, when I put the gel pen onto the paint, it actually pulled the paint up off the page. It just flaked away. So I was really disappointed with that and I actually ended up wishing I hadn't added any gel pens at all. So that was a shame. Um, anyway, up next was the cupcakes. And for this one I wanted to take my micron pens and do some really loose kind of sketches over the top of the little cupcake ball things I've drawn. Um, just to kind of give the impression of um, the cupcake cases. Tried different ways of drawing the cupcake cases and used some different angles and so forth. I, I quite like the idea of the cupcake cases being see-through. Um, oh and this one I just decided to have a bit of fun and, and make it look like the cupcake was jumping out of the case. Um, I think that was quite cute. Looks a bit like a watermelon actually, thinking back. But anyway, in order to um, make the cupcake cases look uh, a bit more solid, I added some white gel pen. Um, quite like the effect, not bad. But of course the whole point of, of these sorts of challenges is to just have fun and experiment. So. I really enjoyed this and the cupcakes I, I particularly enjoyed painting because I used my Schmincke Academy paints and, and that worked a lot better than the cheap chalky paints. Um, again here, this is the cheap chalky paints that I used for the um, mushrooms. Um, I used some, I tried using some watercolour pencil over it but again that wasn't going over it very well. It tended to lift up the chalky paint and just push um, kind of bits of chalk everywhere. Um, it just wasn't working and I didn't like it so um, instead of using pencil crayons I decided to get my micron pens out again and I think this really unified it and, and made it stand out a bit better. So I think in future with these watercolour challenges I'm going to use my better watercolours purely because if I want to use other media over the top of it um, I won't be as restricted then but I still love these cheaper chalky paints I think they're really fun to use and if I'm just doing something that is purely watercolour they, they might still work so I'm still going to use them um, but anyway um, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time